I think at the heart of our beautiful school is connection and engagement with each other and that sense of community is so very strong. From a wellbeing perspective, we had two really main goals to support students through this process and they were to make sure that the connections to Loretto are still strong and that there's somewhat of a routine in their daily structure. The whole school has undertaken a deep clean where we've sanitised all of the hard surfaces. We also have a, a fogging machine and uh, that enables uh, the rooms to be sanitised. The greatest learning opportunity for our students and staff has been the way we have creatively found ways to reproduce what we've done here at school online for the girls at home. We can send work directly to students' email addresses. We, they can be at home receiving it. We can send video assistance of our own. Students can get direct support from staff and staff can even talk to each other through video meetings. I can't imagine going through this time without that technology at the moment. So the IT team are here at school between the hours of 10 and 12 each day, so students are able to come in and still get their laptops repaired if they need to. And we're also doing the bulk of our support via email, so the students can email their questions and we can get back to them fairly quickly. I think one of the main positives I've found from studying at home is that it's really preparing us for um, our exam period and tertiary education where it's really self-motivated work and learning. So a lot of my resources are already online. For me and for other science classes, it's kind of been a little bit business as usual. I needed to make sure that I was very au fait with Google Classrooms. So my skills in this area have greatly developed. Personal interaction is very, very important in the creative arts, so we have found that challenging. Fortunately, we're very flexible and creative. In the technology faculty, we have sent ingredients home to students to give them opportunities to do practical work. We've done demonstrations and PowerPoint progression shots and focused in materials on the design process. During this period of isolation, it's been quite exciting to see how the students have adapted to the new normal. They've been exploring online performance spaces, so what they've been doing here at Loretto is really what's being mirrored out in the professional world. The Year 12 Senate have done an excellent job. They've continued this whole time being school leaders, making videos, working with our leadership team, and really being that voice for the students. To stay connected with all the other students, we've continued our Fun Fridays, which is just a little fun activity we do every Friday. So we've done like Netflix parties. We also have weekly memes that get sent out every Wednesday. So one event in particular that comes to mind is the Loretta Walkathon. We know it wouldn't be exactly the same, but Pat and Mandy have done a great job of re-imaging so that it will work in an online world. Those are the events that truly underscore what matters most to us here at Loretto, which is making a difference to the lives of others. I will continue to practice my chipping in the backyard because my short golf game has improved remarkably and I will definitely continue to resist making a TikTok like everybody else has on social media. The faith and mission of the school has actually survived this COVID virus in a way that I never anticipated it would. Nothing can stop faith from continuing to flourish, not even a virus of this size, and I'm enormously grateful for that. I think we've learnt a huge amount in a short time about new and different ways of using technology to assist in our learning will inform our future planning because what we learn um, we must keep using and it means I think that we're going to have even a greater diversity of ways of actually educating our girls. I can't wait to uh, see the students back in the classroom and I'm looking forward to uh, the smiles, the faces, the banter that we have in every classroom. Yay, we're back.